Okay, greetings everybody. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I want to welcome you to my channel, all my subscribers, peaches, triggers, lovers, haters, commenters, each and every one of you want to welcome you to my channel. And you found me. <laughs> I didn't post at 7 o'clock. I told you I'm going to start posting at odd hours because I was posting every day at 7 o'clock and scallywags. Got it. And um, and I noticed that my, my numbers aren't moving, so I figured those of you who have subscribed to me know, know you're going to get me, but um, I'll be notified when I'm, I'm posting. But this is kind of a trying experiment uh, to just post it during the day. Also, I want to do some daylight um, uh, videoing. Okay, well, uh, today I am at um, registering my bike. I am at uh, a place in Dumaguete where uh, they have a thing called a fixer who, who takes care of everything, you know. I just sit and wait, and, and then, then they go inside, they do the paperwork, and then I, I just sit out here and chill listen to my music so anyway and then from here I got to go to the doctor to get the rest of my um, my last final two tests before I go have them read to the doctor so this is a very interesting day for me you know I just wanted to just kind of share you with it kind of give me an idea where I'm at you can kind of see up here uh, where I'm at and then if I turn over here okay let me see this is kind of like a 360 if you turn over here, you can see uh, that's that, that's the office over there where you go in, get insurance and all that stuff. And this is kind of like my 360 uh, view of everything of where I'm at. So uh, you can kind of take it from there. Okay, so um, just stick with me, you know, uh, and uh, I'll be right back. I'll add more in this video. And when I get home, I'll put it together and give it to you. Okay, remember, you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with truth of the subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. I would show you my fixer, but I can't because it's, it's against the law. Okay? I'll talk to you later. I, you, you, I, um, wait, how do you say it? Uh, you can take the boy out of crime, but you can't take the crime out Nothing. of the boy. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Peace. Something like that. Okay? Video picture. Video. Okay, hold it. Okay, I'm still here registering my bike, but this is one of the places I stop at. Yes. This is an old friend of mine. Uh, every time I stop, I stop by and see him. Tell everybody what your name is. What's your name? Uh, Jojo, Jojo. This is Jojo. Uh, Jojo, Jojo, and this is his wife yes. right here. They, they have a little business here where they sell food and what have you. And this is a nice, comfortable place to sit and relax. Uh, they have two children. Four, 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 oh, he has four children. Two boys, uh, two girls. Two boys and two girls. Got a nice looking young boy here doing the video, and hopefully you'll see his daughter. So, so what do you do? Well, what, yes. What's your work? No, I'm a parking attendant. Uh, also. Parking attendant? Uh, I'm uh, getting uh, uh, garbage. Oh, evening, uh, oh okay, okay. Uh, okay. The, we're, right, we're not too far from the tennis court. Yes. And yeah, I'm drinking early in the morning. <laughs> but there, there are some of my friends who I always sit by and have a beer with them. This is one of my friends. Jojo is one of my friends who I have a beer with. And you can see, you can see the business, what they're doing here. Uh, yeah, uh, they sell uh, coffee, banana. Banana. She makes uh, uh, what, what's that on the stick? Yeah. Like this one. Yeah, yeah, pretty close. She uh. What, so what is this called? Banana. Banana, banana cube. Banana. Oh yeah, this is banana cube. Very sweet, very good. Yeah, she makes this and what have you. And uh, it's very good, very good. Too sweet for me though. But we're still here by, like I said, where I'm registering the vehicle. But this is a good place to see a lot of girls and a lot of foreigners with the couples and what have you. So, um, what is your name? Well, what's your name, son? Jonathan. 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 My bulldog, my bulldog, say hello. Go, go show them, say hello. Come here, come here, come here, sir. So what's your name? Mona. Mona, oh, how, come here, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30? 30? Yeah. No, come here, you're not 30. Yeah, I'm 30. 30? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> 30 years. And, and how old is she? How old are you? 11. 11, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, 30 years old. As I was saying, this is a good place to meet and see girls here. And uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day in the Philippines. Yes. 
Are you, are you married? Bertie, are you married? No, not yet. Not, not yet? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You have children? Oh wow, are you looking for a husband? <laughs> yes, why not? Are you looking for a partner? No. No, she, no, no. Okay, good. good for you. Okay, all right, so we're gonna pause right here. Uh, wait, hold, hold this. No, hold this. But before I pause, give me the phone. And say hello to this young man. Hi, so what's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, how old are you, Jonathan? Well. Jonathan and I was talking. Uh, he doesn't speak much English. He said he has English in school. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Police. A police. Ah, good boy. Good boy. Okay, Jonathan, thank you for working the video, okay? Okay, and I'll be right back. We were just talking about dogs, and I told him I have 12 now. And he showed me his dog. This is his dog here. What do you mean, Bula? Bula. Uh, so, uh, so what's his name? TJ? TJ? TJ. Oh, okay, okay. So, TJ, like I said. This one, huh? Yes. Uh. Oh, get. Oh. Come. Oh, oh, no, oh look. Uh -huh. That's tricks. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have him train my dogs. <laughs> uh, but. Look <laughs> uh, Oh, here she is. Ah. Ah, so what's your name? Nah. Enjoy. What is it? It's a Mongolian. It's a Mongolian. Dini, My name is Christian. Isn't she adorable? My God. My name is Christian. Hi. So what's your name? My name is Christian Joy. Just only. What? Christian Joy. Christian Joy. How old are you? Six. Six. Look, she is adorable. Wow. My goodness, both of them. You got beautiful children. Ah, so what's your name, Mama? Betty. 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 Ah, oh, such a beautiful family. Wow. Well, I want to thank you for every time. I, I want to thank you because every time I come here, you you show me love. So I want to thank you for that. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'll be right back. Okay. I've already left the uh, place where I registered, but I'm over here now by the inspection station. This is the inspection station. This is where they inspect the vehicles, the motorcycles, the scooters, and all that stuff. So it's a nice little wait. It's like any you know, like the like the motor vehicle bureau. The same same kind of stuff that they check here. They have to check uh, check um, here. But one thing that is that they don't have the mandatory yearly inspection. So therefore, if you're always coming across. Uh, vehicles with no headlights, especially at nighttime. Vehicles with no headlights, no brake lights, you know, crack windshields. Yeah, not so many, but you often see a lot of them. But I got a surprise for you coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to go look at a new vehicle. So uh, hopefully, because uh, you know June's going to come around. And June is when uh, the girl, Geraldine, comes back from her, from her overseas worker. And she comes back and I have to get back her vehicle. I've taken good care of it, inspecting it, you know, uh, tuning up, and make sure that everything works fine. Because she couldn't leave it uh, with her partner because her partner didn't know how to drive. And she didn't want to take the chance of just anybody driving her vehicle. So, uh, June's coming around, so I got to get a new vehicle because she's definitely going to want hers back. And I can understand that, you know, so she's going to get it in the same condition, if not better, than when I got it. In fact, it's going to be better because when I got it, there was no air conditioning. And I put Freon in and it worked fine. So just goes to show you the maintenance mentality of a woman. Okay, this is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Uh, subscribe, ring a bell, share and like, and I'll be right back. Okay, you, you guys been with me all day. You're just starting out the motor vehicle, uh, get my bike registered and everything else. And uh, ending it up here where I tell you where I come here and I hang out with uh, foreigners and we have a game that we play and etc. But I want to introduce you to the, to the owner of this establishment and let him tell you about it. So here's Billy. Billy, hold that. Hello all you G-Rod followers on YouTube. Um, anytime you're in Bakong, which is just outside Dumaguete. 
It's about eight kilometres from Dumaguete. Come down the Big Billy's Beach Bar and Girard will show you the magnificent view out here. I'll give you, I'll give you a three cents. That's it. So yeah. tell, tell everybody, tell, tell, yeah, okay, I'll get you on this. So tell everybody where, where you're from, Billy. Uh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. And how long you been in the Philippines? Uh, about 16 years. Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, so what do you like about the Philippines? Oh, just the nice weather and nice people and uh, good good amount of foreigners that mix in with the locals, so it's good. You it's know, good. One thing I admire about Billy, there's not a whole lot of foreigners, but their children come and visit him. And a matter of fact, today, Billy's daughter is... Uh, Zoe? Yo, how long she stay? 11. Oh, she's... Uh, here till tomorrow and then she goes to see you all with her mum and, and her boyfriend and that and and then she'll be coming back maybe next Wednesday and then they leave back to Australia. Okay, so how long have you owned have you owned this place? Uh no, only no, no, I just no. bought it, but uh I have been here about four years. Four years? Mm. Okay, uh tell the people now this is a this is not only just a restaurant, this is a sports bar. That's it. <laughs> I mean, Watch all the NRL, AFL games and even the Super Bowl once a year. I open Monday morning for but I'm closed Monday, Tuesday, so if you come here Wednesday to Sunday, open at eleven. But it's all a daytime place. It's not so much night time. So uh, if you want to come, come down at one or two or whatever and have a nice lunch. And Big all, Billy Burger. And you, it, it, they're terrific, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, you're also going to have the uh, Tyson and, and, and yes. Drake fight, yeah? Yes, that'll be on. Good old Mike. I don't know whether he'll win, but anyway. Let's hope so. We have prediction. You have prediction. On, on, uh, I'd like to see him win, but I think the other bloke will Ooh, wear him out. Mike Tyson win or Jake Paul? No, Mike Tyson. Mike I'd like Tyson. to see him win, but I, I think he's too old. Yeah. The, the other bloke can fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's a good boxer, but yeah, he's a YouTube bloke. But he's uh, he can hold his hands up. So if he if he just uh, puts his arms up and lets Tyson hit him in the first round, it'll wear him out, and then he might. Well, I heard they're going to be using the 16 ounce gloves. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It'd be hard. Be yeah. hard to talk about with 16 That's ounce it. gloves. That's it, like hitting with balloons. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so this is Billy. We're here at Billy's on the Beach. Uh, I'm going to give you a 360 in a second to kind of let you show uh, show you what uh, the scenery is about. Uh, if, you, if you want to look it up, it's Big Billy's Beach Bar on uh, Google Maps. Okay. Mm. Um, have you always been in a bar business uh, in Australia? I, Did you do it yeah, there? I've, I've always worked in bars. I, I've worked on doors because I'm six foot six. Okay. I used to work in a strip club once for a year yeah. in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've always, I started working in bars at 18 and, and I've done it all the way through. Good extra money okay. on weekends and all that. Okay, so, so what advice would you give someone about following their dreams and their goals? Yeah, well, come here, but if you come here, you've got to come here with some money. Don't come here thinking you're going to make money because nobody makes money here. No, no yeah, I, I just survive. You know, you, you just, uh, whatever I spend, I get back. So, um, and then, well, hopefully I get back. And then, so I sort of live live pretty cheap. Now, yeah, like, it doesn't cost me much to live. Uh, but other than that, if you, if you come here with no money and you think you're going to make money, Good luck, because it won't happen. <laughs> There's plenty of bums up on the trying to get back to America or Australia or something. Yeah, Lost all true, their money. True. Or some lovely girl's taking it off them. <laughs> Which is the norm. Don't worry, I've been taken a few times. So, yeah, don't, yeah. I, I think I'm smart, but I've, I've been done a few times. So, anyway, that's okay. the way it is. Okay, so tell everybody where your Facebook is, a phone number, how they can reach you. Yeah, just uh, Big Billy's Beach Bar on Facebook. You can look me up and um, or go to Google Maps. But uh, the best one, Big Billy's Beach Bar on Facebook, and it's uh, in Bacong in uh, the Philippines, Negros Oriental. Uh, it's right across from, uh, what's the name of that church? That, um, yeah, some, yeah, St. Peter's... Uh, St. Peter's Funeral Home. Yeah, the funeral home. Yeah, when you pass St. Peter's, you make that first left and yep. come all the way down until you hit the water. Yep. Yeah, it. it's only eight kilometers from Dumaguete, so it's not far. Okay. Billy, and it's well worth it. Yes. Billy, <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Good on you, G-Rod. Billy, Billy is really a good cat. Sometimes, <laughs> I, sometimes I stop by just to talk with him and kick it with him. He's a good <laughs> There's guy. my daughter there in the background. Oh, come here, say, say hello. Come say hello. 
Come and say hello. This is on Girard's YouTube channel. Wait, what? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, just say hello. Tell me what your name. Oh, get out. Anyway, <laughs> that's thankfully. That's an 11 year old for you. Thankfully, I had to get it for a couple of weeks a year. <laughs> okay. Okay, and oh, oh, uh, and this is V. V, come here, V. Say hello. Yeah, v. Hi. <laughs> This is V, she's one of the staff members. That's staff it. here like this. Okay, so I'll be right back. I got a little treat for you, so just hold on. We're not finished yet. Okay, right now I want to introduce to you the one of the vendors here who you catch here every Friday and Wednesday. Tell everybody your name. Janet. Okay, Je Janet makes show show people your product. Yeah. Um okay. I have a banana bread with walnuts and chocolates. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? And 13 ingredients of my banana bread. And this one, this is my peanut butter cookies with chocolate chips on top. Okay. Yeah. And how long you been baking? Jen? I think um, two months. Only two months? No, two months, more than two months, yes. Yeah, so this is your business, right? Yes, ma. I'm I'm cooking. Okay, so... I'm cooking. <laughs> this is my product. I'm cooking and then I... Also selling. She's selling, yes. Yeah, I'm enjoying. She comes by our house selling them to Mia and the kids and everything. Yeah. So what course. made you decide to do baking rather than doing like food, restaurant food or or, or raising pigs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh well, I just wait, the maybe, baking maybe, maybe yes. Yeah, so this is your own secret ingredients? How did you learn how to make it? Yes, I I it's my secret ingredients too, okay. yeah. And then my my friend is uh, he's the one also helping me what is the ingredients okay. also so we have two both of these ingredients of my product okay so where are you from originally i'm from the mountain i'h yo santa catalina you're, you're yes from the mountain? yes you know, a mountain girl here y'all <laughs> mountain girl <laughs> yeah. Yeah, are you married yeah i just married at november yeah. Are you happily married? Yes. Uh, she, 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 she sighed a little bit before she answered the question. Okay, my last question because yes, we got to get going. What advice would you give someone about following their dreams and their goals? Because you're doing fine. You should dream to be a baker and cooking and making money. So what advice would you give someone about doing something that they like to do? Mm, yeah, so maybe... <laughs> what are you saying again, sir? What advice would you give someone for following their dream and their goals? What do you mean? Okay, I cannot. Like, my, uh, my English is like, not good. Okay, like uh, never sorry. give up. You know, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, never give well. up, and then you enjoy your doing, and then you're not thinking, and then you're just happy. Happy, yeah? happy. yeah, I'm very always happy. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> Why she say always happy with a sad face? It's of course. <laughs> Sorry, because my English is not good. <laughs> I want to yeah, tell you. Yeah, very, uh, what you're doing, what you work, it's, you are always happy, okay. but yeah. Okay, okay, I got to go, and uh, I want to tell you, this girl here gives the best hugs, okay? <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Mama, I got to go, I'm say sorry. goodbye. You, you have a Facebook you so where they can find you? Yes, sir, no. I have it. Yeah, I have Janet Sanders, yeah, my Facebook page. Yes. Okay, spell it. G E N E T, then Sander is S E N D E R S. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, thank I got to go. Bye bye now. Please bye, my father. Okay, I'll be right yeah. back. Okay, before I, I end this, I want to give you the 360 of Billy's on the Beach. You can see the, the ocean there. You can actually walk right down the steps there and go into the water. Let's see, it's a nice, comfortable establishment and like he said it's a sports bar and you can see what are they doing <laughs> they are watching rugby I think it is Australian favorite okay I'll talk to you later remember dreams are nothing more than plans of winning action never disrespect the elder always pull someone up and sometimes sometimes you're only going to see a vision and the best revenge in life is to live good I'm living good today Hope you are too. If you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ali Woodson, formerly singer of Temptation, once some, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make it feel like a king and never say no. I hope you enjoyed your stay. All right? I'll talk to you later. Peace.